Okay, here we are. This is the home of Main Brain. This is where Main Brain was birthed. Right here, we're working on the robot. So we have the base plate. I finished machining the base plate last week. That's out of steel because we need stability and weight. And then on top of the base, we have the harmonic drive reduction, otherwise known as a strain wave gear reduction. And that's going to be the zero backlash transmission for the base, the robot base, where it rotates like a turret. Up here we have new main brain, chilling out, waiting for more tests and more code. There's still a small issue with noise and the way the, the A, to, A to D converter is reading the touch screen. Still not perfect yet. Actually, old main brain works better than the new one right now. <laughs> so then we have old main brain here doing some exercises right here. It's simulating continuous communication with the DSP chip over here. And the DSP writes, there's three software counters going in there. And then it's just continually counting, that's a hexadecimal. So the DSP writes to some dual port RAM and main brain reads from it. And this tests the communication between the two is the, the the key concept of the dual port RAM is really fast 8-bit parallel communication. So then this number right here, the 1034, that is the position of the encoder right now. And the encoder is over here. And it will tell the position of the base at any given time and it interfaces to the DSP chip over here. The DSP chip reads the encoder and it, it processes the signal, converts it into a number, writes it to the dual port RAM and main brain reads it and displays it. So as you turn the counter up or down, it counts in the appropriate direction. So then we have a motor. Well we have we have the DSP interfaces to a Texas Instruments motor pre-driver chip that controls the motor. There'll be one of these chips for every motor and every chip has six interfaces to six MOSFETs that drive the three phases of the motor to make it turn. And we can turn on the motor right over here. And here we have a tack signal on the bottom and on the top is one of the hall sensor outputs for the phase of the motor. That tells the motor pre-driver chip how to commutate, how to, uh, how to drive the signals for the three phases. Right. Turn that off. And over here is where we write the code. We have New main brain, old main brain, and main motion, which is the robot. And we're writing that in the C language. And then we have, we're designing the PCB right at the moment with, for the motion control board, which will be all this stuff right here. And it will interface underneath main brain kind of like where that plastic base is, a little bit closer. 
and then that's one of the concepts of main brain. You can stack boards underneath it to do whatever. And there'll be probably, there could be one motion board per motor or maybe one motion board for two motors. It just, room's getting kind of tight. And we'll see how that works out. And then, down here at the same time, we're doing a little AutoCAD. We got the spindle shaft for the base drawn up. And we got some bearings in. And we got some measurement devices over here. And hopefully, we'll get out into the garage and do some lathe work. I got, I got the part in the lathe right, right now as we speak. Just waiting for it to warm up a little bit so I can get out there. All right.